Oh my god, is it done yet? No, we're almost there though. Uh, Let's go to the camera, guys. No, we already got it. Here's a random title. Check out this title. Let's see what it be do. So this time we're just gonna be doing a lot of catch up as usual. Total Falcon Thunderbird. I forget what that one's from. I think it's because oh, I got, all, you got all the reef parts. Which is another thing all I need to do. Damn it! Check out these krill. That's krill. They are krill. They are in fact krill. Krill are a thing. That things eat. Lots of things. Big whales eat them. You know this fact. Would you eat krill? Probably. I mean, they're kind of just shrimp, right? Be surprised at things I would eat. I don't know, man. You seem like kind of kind of a little picky animal. I don't know. And you don't like the seafood, ironically. I like seafood. I don't like fish. Oh, so you like the crustaceans? Oh, I fucking love crustaceans, even though I see what's your favorite? Okay, what's your favorite crustacean? Fucking crab, just straight up. Mm, what type of crab? Blue crab. Mm, that's pretty good. How do, you, how do you feel about this Florida staple stone crab? As, as a resident for now a couple of years of Florida. Mm. I mean, it, it is staple. Still blue crab. Yeah, the stone crab is slightly, slightly more sustainable? Yes. In the sense that it's, you know, it's a crab that's a renewable resource because we just take it off you the You just tear the their arms off. Oh, God! It inconveniences them. I lift with those! Oh, oh it's you. Hey, Rock Hopper. Rock Hopper penguins are, uh, pretty cool. They've got the most beautiful hair. This is a little too far south for them, I think, but whatever. Fuck you. You don't know that. Uh, Gentoo, on the other hand, I think they actually might be. These guys are accurate. Are they? What if you're wrong? And the other one is accurate. Uh, I, I these just aren't. checked, and in fact, the Gen 2 are fine. They're found in the Weddell Sea, huh? Yeah. What about rock operas? They are found the entire range around Antarctica. What about rock operas? Uh, let me check again. Good. I did not check the rock operas. Meanwhile, talk about this guy. Uh, the Antarctic toothfish? Yeah. Uh, the Antarctic toothfish is a fish well known for its teeth. That's all I got. Also, yeah, the rock hoppers don't go that low. All right. They found around Meanwhile, New Zealand. yeah. Meanwhile, we're over here. So, there's a lot of coins apparently missed over here. That like this. Oh no, Banjo. that would be Sculptor, the sculptor, is yet another constellation named by Lakyle in the 18th century. Our Sculptoris, a red giant star located 1,500 light years from Earth, has a strange spiral structure in the material surrounding the star. How curious. What if there was a star that was just the Banjo Star? I'm sure there is. Yeah, Banjo Star sounds like something that you'd have in, like, in like Dragon Ball. Like the Banjo I'll Star. I'll tell you what, pick a star, you can call that the Banjo Star. Oh, man. Apis is from the Greek for no feet, represents a bird of paradise, which was once believed to have no feet. This misconception, interestingly, is due to the fact that only specimens brought back to the West had both the feet and wings removed, for some reason. Good eats. I like eating them feets. I don't know about the wings, I don't... I mean... But yeah, just name whatever star you want, the Banjo Star. It'll be as legit as any of those other fucking, hey, name a star, whatever, after me, companies. <laughs> No, I want it legit. I want to be the legit, like, the Banjo constellation. That's not how it works. Arrange enough stars to form Namazu with giving thumbs up. Tell us about Saturn. Uh, Saturn is a planet. It is the second largest gas giant. Uh, it's got rings. Well, it's pretty cool. All of the gas giants have rings. Well, it's got the most pronounced rings. Yeah. It's also got a lot of secret rings. That people love. Just like Sonic secret. the Hedgehog. Uh, the interesting thing about it, we've known Saturn for a long time, like a long, long ass time, and it is the furthest star that anybody ever saw for the longest ass time until like tech got good. Technically, you can see Uranus with a bare eye, it's just hard. <laughs> Triangulum Astralis, the Southern Triangle, was possibly first described this explorer Marigo Vespucci while on a voyage, describing a triangle which may either be this or Apis. Great. The other thing about uh, Saturn is that uh, basically gonna, the way that Galileo described it is as if it... Are you going to tell the foreskin thing again? 
Oh, no, I was going to talk about the fact that it looked like it had ears. It's, okay. Well, that's, he described it as having ears. Okay. We talk about, have to, why do you have to talk about foreskins the whole time? Because you always... Every time we're about... having a conversation, you're like, I'm sorry, I can do that, uh, foreskins! It's true, he's like that all the time. <laughs> Nobody can disprove that. <sighs> Draco represents a dragon. Said to be a lot of dragons. Let's just go with the Titanic when killed by Minerva and thrown into the sky. Traditional Arabic astronomy, the constellation represents two hyenas attacking a baby camel. It's protected by four female camels. Nomads sit nearby cooking. Cool, cool. I like dragons are neat. Dragons are neat. So look over here. Mystery thing thing about Draco is also there's that little law legislator from ancient Greece who gave the, the name of Draconian. You know how he died? Badly. Yeah. Ah, spookiness. It's gone silent. Smothered by robes and cloaks. It's a good way to go. Just like Draco. That's actually folkloric, but still. The old hat rack death. Yep. Smothered by hats. Because <laughs> apparently that's all the Athenians showed approval. Yeah, you just throw Have it. my hat! And my clothes! I'm naked! I'm well, Athens. they're Greek, so... I'm so kooky! Alright, we'll check out this hairstyle we unlocked. Oh, this the ultimate one? hair. The ultimate hair. My god. This truly needed to be, you know, hidden behind like half the game. It's stunning. Beautiful it's too even. Too much power. It has too much power. Like, the seas are bending before it. Just like Samson. That hurts it! Not gonna talk about my hair, it's great! I don't I don't I don't I don't get that, that cross association there, a guardian to gold. Yeah, guardians, there's always gold where there's guardians. Name one time there hasn't been. See? Hmm. What about the gold? Is there gold there? Yes. Can you say that without it sounding horribly racist? Mmm, probably not. <laughs> Just, yes. <laughs> what about the last guardian? <sighs> yes. Is there, is there gold? Or, or is the gold the relationship between the boy and that Oh, there's gold there! there. Game of the year 2016, maybe, probably not. <laughs> uh, I hope that game's good. Yeah, I bet you do. Man, Shadow of Colossus was pretty good. Why would you hope a game was bad? Yeah, it's true. That's, that's, that's another thing I never get. Like, people imply people hope games are bad. It's dumb to hope a game would be bad. You should hope every game should be good. But I hope that game's especially good, because I'm looking forward to it. I don't really hope that Assassin's Creed will be good because I skept, you know, expectations are low. My expectations are high, or at least the highs I'm hoping for are pretty high. Oh, hey. Maybe it was Oceana. Namalakaris, huh? I mean, it's just like we've seen several other extinct animals or something. Are you suggesting that there is a creature from the Cambrian explosion just swimming around out there? Something that hasn't been seen for millions of years? <laughs> Scratch that millions, billions at this point. I wouldn't go billions. How about a billion? Billion is a explosion. lot. Yeah, it's a one billion is, you know. Think about your. No, that's. No.
Oh, so you found dragon bones. Yeah, because apparently Anomal Cars hangs out with dragons. Makes sense. As much I as mean, you saw Cars. as much as anything, I guess. Yeah, sure. So yeah, that was Anomal Cars. Sometimes he passes by the window. Yeah. When Thanatos isn't there, he can be there. Yep. I don't think they ever hang out together. That'd be weird. Though it might explain why Anomal Cars is alive. Former roommates. Ah. You know. He he, he he cut a you know a, a deal with anomal cars brought him back from the dead. It's the thing that gods of death can do. What if anomal cars is the god of the death? And what that like Thanatos is just like his. And he brought proxy? Thanatos back from the dead. Nah, it might explain a lot. I would expect to see more ghost whales and like other ghostly ancient things like ghost plesiosaurs. Like, like Basakuja. Yeah, but more with, with also plesiosaurs and stuff. That could happen. I mean, we did see that ortho cone. Yeah. Or not an ortho cone. Yeah. yeah. And you saw that plesiosaur that was probably dead. Yeah. Point. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. So we've unlocked a uh, another uh, one of the special outfits. At least all the parts of it. We had some of these parts for like most of the game. Now, with the power of these dragon bones, so. Alright. You even get little horns with it. Yeah. Yep, that's that. Uh, yeah, that's. Gloves up. There's no. Yeah. You like, got a color match. You got a color match. You don't you gotta. Have to. You have to. The latest well, dinosaur like research! Yep, that's it. We're spooky monsters. Neat. That's what you get for finding all the coins, I guess. And here's an Omel Cars. Hello. He's pretty cute. Hello. He is pretty dang cute, you know. Omel Cars, I guess he has 500 million. Or yeah. probably one of the most dangerous carnivores of its era. Yeah, but it's like how big? Like About the size of a cat. Yeah, the most dangerous. Look, that's pretty there. big, man. Oh uh, yeah, you want you want to tell us the story about the shrimp? Oh yeah, we used to find a bunch of fossils, and they would just be weird fragments of things. We had no idea what they were. Just all these weird animals. Eventually, they realized, oh, they're part of the same animal. Yeah, because basically we found these little mouth thing number diggers, and we thought, hey, that that's like a weird shrimp thing. What's up with that? We found his fins. We found all sorts of shit. Yeah, and turns out you just actually put them all together and set you to just one animal. But, you know. Yeah. Anomalous car is basically being shrimp anomaly. Odd shrimp. Yep, and it was like about a meter long in total, so. Pretty dang small. And the stuff it fed on were even smaller. Early complex animals, turns out. Pretty tiny. Then your Ripterids kind of ruins some shit up. Yeah. Basically, when I fucking like Metal Gear Rising all of a sudden. All right, sure. All right. That's that's my my mental image of how that went down. Of how the Eurypterids ruining anomalous cars. Just like the fuck is just like like yeah, it's like Metal Gear Ray. Just Eurypterid shows up. <laughs> Which one is the Ray in this situation? Eurypterid's clearly the Ray. Well, actually, uh, yeah. And then like an like the last anomalous car is just like riding. So or that maybe, one like, we just saw outside the window. This metaphor is getting really strained. It is. Is Ride no Dracula? I mean, he did kill Dracula eventually. Suppose I mean, that's true. That anomalous Karas probably knows Nigel Marvin. I mean, statistically speaking, and Nigel Marvin's basically the god of death. At least he knows him. He probably knows him. Several serial killers. He knows him. Well, yes, he hires them, remember? Yeah, he hires them for his time-traveling boat. It's like, <laughs> so they could go and just menace whales. Jack the Ripper whales. at the helm, because why the fuck <laughs> not? <laughs> oh, what, what is the BBC thinking? What is the Queen thinking, Red? Hiring Nigel Marvin, known ancient serial killer and, like, animal rapist. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Had, You've seen what he's done. He had sex with that pteranodon consensually. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Marvin knows no limits. He knows no morality. No one can stop him. Except for, you know, that one time that all those guys ate him. Finally. Great. Pirate treasure. Yeah. Bedouin treasure. Yeah, I was just carrying all these treasure chests in my pocket. Yeah, we your loot sack. Granite! Donkey Kong. Big bag of straw. Yep. You might as well find a big bag of mulch down there. It would be pretty good. I'd have to like that. How do you feel about turkey in the straw? I don't often think of turkey in the straw, to be honest. Oh, it's Cleo's treasure. Holy, yeah, Cleopatra. Yeah. Not, no, not, not that Cleo. What is the better, or what is, what is more iconic to you, Red? Than turkey in a straw, Cotton Eye Joe. Spanish flea. Turkey in a straw, Cotton Eye Joe. Spanish flea. Turkey in the straw or Cotton Eye Joe? Spanish flea is good, completely unrelated. Cotton Eye Joe is from like 1840. I I don't know. No. Span Turkey in the Straw is also from like 1860, isn't it? I don't fucking know. I'm looking this up. Live. Live looking this up. Yeah, 1820s. Songs from the 1800s. Cotton Eye Joe or Turkey in the Straw. Everyone leave your comments on this web zone about Cotton Eye Joe or, Joe or Turkey in the Straw. <laughs> this is important. We need to run the numbers on this. I just... I can't think of Cotton Eye Joe without thinking of the Rednecks version. It <laughs> could. Well... But that is the version that they play in every single, like, music stadium around the world. Do they? Do they still do that? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's still a thing. At least... I don't know if it's still a thing. I haven't been in, like, any sports games in a few years. The last time I've been to, was to, like, at, like, a, uh, like an NFL game. Yeah. Cotton Eye Joe, Rednecks version. Are either, are either the songs just have a random, really racist lyric in there, just out of nowhere? I don't believe it. I don't either. think Cotton Eye Joe does. I don't think Turkey. Well, does Turkey. Yeah. Mm. Do some versions of Turkey and Straw have really racist lyrics? I don't know. Um, it sounds like that might be a thing that exists. I know yeah. Oh Susanna does. And it's really. If you ever listen to an old recording of it, it's. Yeah. Oof, yeah. You gotta be careful about that. Yeah. Alright, I think we're clear on Turkey and the Straw. Okay, good. What about Cotton Eye Joe? Cotton Eye Joe. I doubt the Rednecks version would have bad versions, but what about like, an early version of Cotton Eye Joe? No, I think we're clear there. Okay, good. There is another song sung to the same tune as Turkey and the Straw called Zip Coon now. Yeah, why am I not surprised? That sounds like something that would exist and happen. Poor fucks. So anyway, monster suit. It was very impressive. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. I completely tuned out. What were we looking for for this one? We found the platinum sword. It's the last salvage item. Yay! We were too busy talking about turkey in the straw. And th that's understandable. Well, that happens. We're, what, 65 videos in? Yeah, Turkey in the Straw is still great. 65 videos later, Turkey in the Straw, number one. I don't know, man. I don't know. What, you, you coming down with Cotton Eye Joe now? No. Betraying me here? But I'm reading a list of American folk songs from that period. Okay, you got anything better? A lot of them are really racist. Yeah, yeah, that's why you should have gone with what I, sh what I gave you. Like, I bet do your ears, ears hang low is, like, super racist. No. It sounds like that'd be a thing that's, like, horrendously... Can I just say fucking the devil went down to Georgia even though it's not old as hell? No, you can't say that. It's a great song. Come on. It's a good song, sure. 
always weird that they made like or Johnny Cash made like a like a, a sequel song to that. And it's literally the same song just with again. Did Johnny Cash make that? I'm pretty sure he sang that. I don't think that was Johnny Cash. He's like come Sequel back was to recorded Georgia. by Yeah. By Charlie Daniels and Mark O'Connor in 1993. Featuring guest performances by Travis Tritt as the okay. devil. Johnny Cash was just the narrator. Okay, well... In the sequel, the now adult Johnny is married and has a child. Hoping to take advantage of Johnny's sinful pride, the devil challenges him to a rematch. The devil snatches the golden fiddle from Johnny and demands that he practice with his old fiddle to play against him. Then it does not state the victor outright, though the music video suggests Johnny won, as does the line, Johnny's still the best it's ever been. It's dumb that they made a sequel. A little bit. Very dumb. In addition, Daniel objected to Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock version of The Devil Went Down to Georgia. Replaced the violin parts with guitar parts, both played by Steve Wimwet and Jeff Tyson. The grass of the devil often wins the contest. Which you refer to as violating the very essence of the song. <laughs> Sounds funny. Were the people making like that for like Activision, like secretly Satanist? Like, I can't. Stand no, it's to have a game Satan called Guitar Hero. If it was Violin Hero, then great. Hey, man, that. Oh, man, Red. Yeah. You know what? There should be a Violin Hero. That'd be pretty good. They made a DJ Hero. It could happen. There was an Alvin and the Chipmunks version of the song recorded in 1993 in the re release of their country <laughs> album, Urban Chipmunk. In this version, Alvin bets his and his brother's souls in a harmonica contest. I don't know what the devil would want with three chipmunk souls, but that is apparently a thing. <laughs> I was meant the violin solo replaced with a harmonica solo. It sounds so shitty. Also, <laughs> Alvin. Oh God. I hope I hope the devil won because fuck those fucking chipmunks. Well, have you seen what they're up to lately? <laughs> oh, no, you got all the haircuts. Congrats. Yeah. And all the and gloves. all the gloves. I'm a fucking glove. You could be a turtle guru. Oh man. Well, we all are. <laughs>